The Electric Power Research Institute is examining technology pathways that break the historical connection between economic growth and CO2 emission increases to accelerate emission reductions in the decades ahead. EPRI's Project 2X to 2050 explores pathways to provide affordable, reliable energy while driving U.S. emissions to 30% or more below 2005 levels by 2030 and 80% below by 2050. Beyond its initial focus on the U.S., EPRI's research can provide insights for all states and nations contemplating deep carbon reductions. Decarbonization requires two types of actions. The deployment of today's rapidly emerging technologies to make near-term reductions and investment in fundamental technology advances to enable much deeper carbon reductions in the future. Despite rising global carbon emissions, 36 countries have reduced emissions since 2005. The U.S. reduced economy-wide emissions over this period by 14 percent, while its economy grew 20 percent. The electric sector accounted for 80 percent of this reduction through improved energy efficiency, a switch from coal-fired generation to natural gas and renewables, and the continued use of carbon-free nuclear power. How does the U.S. accelerate CO2 emission reductions over the next decade? Navigating the pathway to 2030 requires a sustained commitment to enhancing energy efficiency and shifting to cleaner electricity. In addition, a third action, transportation electrification, has the potential to accelerate near-term reductions economically. The first pathway, enhanced energy efficiency, builds on existing efforts and takes advantage of advanced digitalization, machine learning, and connected devices to accelerate efficiency gains throughout the system. The second pathway, cleaner electricity, cuts the sector's 2030 carbon emissions to half of its 2005 level. Key drivers include a continued shift to renewable and gas generation and continued operation of nuclear plants. This transition will require significant investment to integrate low-cost renewables effectively and to strengthen a more dynamic, flexible grid. For example, grid-connected battery storage is projected to grow from less than 1 gigawatt in 2019 to more than 30 gigawatts in 2030, becoming integral to balancing variable generation and customer demand, while improving grid and customer resiliency. The third pathway to 2030 is transportation electrification. This pathway gains prominence as the cost of batteries and, consequently, the purchase price of electric vehicles decline making electric vehicles less expensive to own than comparable gasoline vehicles. Today, 80% of electric vehicle charging is at home. Expanded public and workplace charging infrastructure will make EVs an option for more people and enable longer distance travel. In some regions, it can also help match charging needs with the availability of variable renewable electricity generation and the expansion of this charging infrastructure will grow opportunities for storage and efficient integration of grid resources. While these technology pathways to 2030 seem clear, many challenges remain in achieving wide deployment of these key technologies and the infrastructure necessary for them to operate effectively. What will enable an affordable transition to much deeper reductions beyond 2030? A transition to very low carbon emissions based on existing technology would be very costly. However, aggressive investment in research, development, and demonstration could lead to affordable options. In a low carbon future, energy efficiency, cleaner electricity, and transport electrification efforts accelerate. Cleaner electricity expands to include the deployment of more advanced zero carbon electric generation and electrification-enabled emission reductions extend well beyond transportation to include buildings and industry. But for even deeper carbon reductions, a fourth area of technologies appears necessary. Low carbon resources, such as hydrogen, ammonia, and synthetic natural gas, may become particularly important for difficult to electrify energy needs. They can enable weekly or seasonal electricity storage, and, in certain cases, provide more efficient ways to use existing energy infrastructure. The move to cleaner electricity requires continued advances in renewables and storage. Carbon capture, utilization, and storage could be key for power production, 
for industrial processes and for producing low carbon hydrogen and other synthetic fuels. It also opens the door to possible net negative emission technologies. New advanced nuclear power could also become a key provider of reliable, affordable, 24-7, zero carbon generation, particularly as existing nuclear plants, which supply 20% of U.S. electricity generation today, begin to retire. These plants could also provide a pathway to carbon-free hydrogen production. Tying all of these technologies together is the ongoing customer-driven move toward greater integration of energy systems. This integrated energy network can enable an efficient transition to a low-carbon future while expanding customer choice, reducing cost, maintaining reliability, and improving resiliency. Decarbonization presents immense challenges and opportunities. A 30-year transition away from a global energy system largely dependent on fossil fuels will require fundamental changes in how the world makes, moves, and uses energy. To make this low-carbon vision viable, EPRI and stakeholders across the energy industry must come together now to take the near-term actions needed for substantial emission reductions through 2030 and to initiate the research, development, and demonstration necessary to accelerate an intelligent transformation toward a cleaner, reliable, and affordable energy future for all.